All right, now Samsung rolled out the brand new One UI 8 Beta 5 in the eligible countries for the Galaxy S25 series. And unfortunately, on my Galaxy S25 Ultra, I could not get this update. I kept trying it since afternoon, but there was no sign of any new update on my device. And I was surprised to see everybody else mentioning in the, on the X saying that the update has already arrived and they have installed it. And strangely, when I went to the members application, the beta page also vanished and I got a notification which said that the uh, software update is delivered to your Galaxy device in August 2025 to enhance the security, but there was no update officially delivered to my phone. I was really frustrated with this. But then one of the X users did suggest me to sideload it. A uh, Spring on X shared me the uh, One UI 8 latest firmware and I was able to quickly sideload it and share it with you guys what has really changed with this all new update. So this is not the official update that I have. I have installed the unofficial uh, firmware of One UI 8 Beta 5. Now to refer to the change log, I will go to X again. The 6 one on X uh, did share me the screenshot today. So let me just refer this. As you can see, the update size is about 1785.92 MB and the version number ends with ZYH6. And you can see a whole bunch of bugs that have been fixed here. And we also have a brand new feature on this beta version. Before we take a look at the new feature, let me just quickly take you through this. The first bug is fixed hotspot connection error, then fix the issue of the size of the clock on the lock screen setting uh, getting smaller, fix S Pen Air command exception, fix issue of quick settings window not appearing, fix the issue that overlap the quick settings and notification windows, fix the exception when capturing screen in the app in the secure folder, fix the issue of moon appearing purple when taking a picture with 100x zoom. This, this was kind of funny. The moon was appearing purple. I didn't really try this, but this was circulating on the internet that uh, the pictures taken of the moon is appearing in purple. Uh, so that has been fixed now. Fix an issue of do not disturb mode settings resetting. Fix the issue of now brief briefing content disappearing. Stabilize the software with multiple app updates applied August security patch. So we do have the latest security patch, the August security patch with this all new update. If you're not on beta, you might have to wait for a few more days to get the August security patch. But if you're on beta, you will get the latest security patch as well. Now the most interesting part, the latest new feature. The adaptive lock screen clock feature is now available with this beta. Now uh, this is an interesting feature, may not be that important for many of you guys out there, but let me go ahead and show you this. Let's go to the lock screen here. Now this feature may not work with all the wallpapers. Now for example, we have got one of the wallpapers here, which is applied from our uh, wallpaper application Volvers. I did try many different wallpapers from the application, especially the portrait wallpapers. The uh, feature was not working, but let me show you this. Let's go to the lock screen and I will press and hold on the lock screen here and just unlock the phone. And now we enter the customization menu. Now here, let me tap on clock. Now you can see this is the brand new option that we have got. It has got this animation over here. You can see this one and two, it is moving. And that is indicating that this is the clock which is going to adapt to your lock screen wallpaper. Now let me select this. Now you can see this is the clock. Now if I move this around, it's not actually adapting to the wallpaper. So we need to change the wallpaper. Let's go ahead and set one of the uh, default wallpapers that we have. The dog wallpaper is here. Now let's try this one. As you can see, it instantly adapted. As I move this clock, it is adjusting itself. As you can see, when I move this, it just adapts to the space available here. And when I move it towards the top, it's in full size. And when I move it to the bottom, it is changing, adjusting itself depending on the uh, subject on this wallpaper. Now let's try a different wallpaper. Let me uh, apply some wallpaper from my gallery. I will apply my own photo here. This is the portrait photo that I have. Let me apply this. That is just perfect, isn't it? You can see the clock, which got resized right on my face over here. If I move it towards the side here, as you can see, it is not perfect yet, but yeah, it does work very well on the One UI 8 Beta 5. Now this is the brand new feature that we have. And finally, we have got this. We have been waiting for this feature and now it's available. Now let me just tap on this again. Now this will not work for the other clocks. It only works with this specific clock, the second clock, which has got this animation here. As you can see, this is the only clock which has got that animation. So that is the only clock which is going to work and it's going to look something like this. So that is the brand new feature that we have. And unfortunately, when I go to the wallpaper, we I still do not see the suggested wallpapers here. Only the gallery option layout is changed here, but I do not see the uh, suggested wallpapers here 
This wasn't available in my previous update as well, but some of you guys did get the suggested, uh, suggested wallpapers right here. If you have got it, do let me know in the comment section. Apart from this, I don't see any new features here. Uh, the phone is definitely running smoothly without any issues, even on this unofficial beta. But you guys use the phone and let me know how is the phone performing. And you can also share the battery performance results probably after using the phone uh, for a day or two. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application, Wallverse yet, go ahead. There are some beautiful wallpapers, uh, multiple different categories available. We have recently added many brand new wallpapers and every day we keep adding new wallpapers so go ahead check it out uh, the application link is in the description and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye